journey isn't really based on one location. Today's more or less a driving day from where we were, Moose Jaw, all the way to Drumheller, which is in Alberta. So if you went straight there, it's about a six hour drive, but we are of course going to stop to eat and take breaks. And along the way, there's actually one main attraction, you could say, that we are going to see. Dad, what is that attraction? The Great Sand Hills. That's right. For anybody who hasn't been to Saskatchewan before, it is more or less a very like agricultural province as in we have a lot of like flatlands, a lot of fields, but there are a few places in the province that definitely differ from that and the Great Sand Hills are one of those places. I personally have never been there before. Dad, have you been no, there I've before? No, I've never been there. Yeah, we've, we've never seen any kind of desert in Saskatchewan before and apparently this is one of the few places where you kind of sort of feel like you're in the desert. So join us for the continuation of our road trip uh, as our first destination is going to be Swift Current, correct? Correct. Correct. got to the big city of Swift Current, the fifth largest city in Saskatchewan with a population of about 16,000 people and we are in their little downtown core. It's very cute. Dad, have you been to Swift Current before? Well, sort of through it when we're delivering machinery. Yeah, but you never like stopped no, and no. like looked around. No. Yeah. I don't think I've been here either because in general like we lived in Canistino, which is like central north, I guess. Northeast. Yeah, northeast of Saskatchewan. So to come all the way south it's kind of like a three or four hour drive for us. So we really, you know, never even went to places like Regina that often. So I don't think I've actually ever been to Swift Current before. So it's only when I come to visit that my dad eats at super ethnic restaurants. <laughs> Although he has been to Japan. He came to Tokyo when I was living there. So dad, did you like Japanese food when you went to Tokyo? It's okay. Different. Yeah. Different, right? And he just had some kimchi. He can handle that pretty good. And then show what you got underneath there. Yeah, so he actually got the veggie bento with a uh, tofu, veggies, got a little salad, got some tempura, some rolls, and then I got a 
chicken teriyaki one, so really lovely place here in Swift Current.
drum heller so we may stop at like a small town or something on the way to like get some drinks so we still have quite a ways to drum heller and looking at the map there was not many places to stop along the way so we are in leader saskatchewan probably a town of 400 or something if i had to guess it's not that big and this is one of two restaurants that they have Yeah, so bad news, good they told us. Uh, I guess they have like an issue with their oven and they only have like, I don't, I don't know, one burner or something he was saying. So basically our food would take like 40 minutes. So we're gonna try the other <laughs> one of two restaurants. This is the family restaurant and sports bar. So let's hope this place can get our food out quick. Tomato noodles soup. Hi there. Good, how are you? Perfect. Yes, please. Yep, perfect. Perfect, thank you. Blessing in disguise, guys. This menu is actually way better and bigger, as long as the food is good. <laughs> Well, this I certainly did not expect. Indian food <laughs> in a tiny little town here in Saskatchewan. We've got a curry with some paneer and veggies. I've actually never tried this one before. And then we got some garlic naan. We got some basmati rice. So let's see. All right, I'm gonna do a taste test on camera, an honest one. See? Oh yeah. First of all, that's fresh. I was actually a little bit worried of like, oh, are they just gonna, you know, get some kind of frozen curry or something? But I think that's actually freshly made. The naan is legit, like it is fluffy, also fresh. Amazing. All right, what about you, dad? Let's give it a try. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, see? And uh, you've, you've had Indian food, I mean, quite a few times and yeah. stuff, but probably not for quite a while, so. Not for quite a while. This is a treat. Oh yeah, yeah. 
yeah make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video of course we are now in Alberta not Saskatchewan but here uh, in Drumheller this is a really interesting area if you're interested in dinosaurs and you know fossils and just really unique landscapes so we'll be here uh, for one night before heading back to Calgary where my dad will be dropping me off and then driving all the way back to Saskatchewan so let me know your thoughts in the comments guys have you been out in these more remote parts of Canada let me know your thoughts and as always hope you're having a fantastic day and keep being your own kind of beautiful Bye guys. I burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright in my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began No matter the rain No matter the storm I'm coming home I'm coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn on